Um, let's start with prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you this afternoon, thankful for all the blessings, thankful for being with us this morning. We pray now that you'll be with Pastor Marvellous as he presents to us the word. We thank you for all the blessings. We pray for the presence of our Holy Spirit, that we all may be understood, that we all may understand that we're brought close to you. Jesus, worthy and precious name. Amen. So now we'll, we'll hand over the time to Pastor Marvellous. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, thank you so much for this privilege. Good afternoon, everyone. May I kindly ask you to sing for me number um, SDA hymnal number 493. SDA hymnal number 493. I'd be very grateful if you could sing that song for me. Okay, they are preparing to sing. Let's just have also a word of prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, thank you so much for this privilege that you have given us to come before your throne of grace, to seek your presence, for your mercy, that we may be a blessing in this world. Thank you for bringing us this far as we take this time to talk to you as our God, as our Father, as our counselor, as our Savior is our comforter. May you come into our hearts. Help us to receive you. Help us to treasure your presence. Help us in each and everything that you are going to handle, to think about, never to use our own strength, but to employ yours. Because you are God who cannot fail you nor forsake us. For such privileges are God. We are so grateful. The rest of the day, we commend it all in your hands. This afternoon, be in our midst, and may you pour a double portion of your spirit upon each one of us, that we may be spiritual and being spirit-led. As we go ye therefore, that we may have the power of the Holy Spirit to be your witnesses, starting in our own Jerusalem, our own families, fears of influence. Be in our midst out of your loving kindness. All this we pray, and we pray in the name. Amen. Thank you so much. I'm kindly asking if you can sing for us or anyone who can sing for me hymn number 493 is a hymn now. You say 493? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, 493. Uh... Fill my cup, Lord. We've just found a, a lay by. Um, so we've got the fill my cup, Lord. And it's got three verses. We'll just be singing to see, uh, we won't be singing together because um, on a phone it doesn't allow you to do that because it tries to meet one of the voices. And we haven't got a, a, a we couldn't get our laptop to work. So we'll just so we'll sing it to a verse each. Hi, sis, I can sing one verse. Uh, thank thank you. you. Yeah. Shall yeah. I do the first one? Yes, please. And then I'll do the okay. second. Okay. Anyone for the third? Okay, I'll do the third then. Yeah. Like the woman at the well I was seeking. For things that could not satisfy. But then my oh, had my savior seeking draw from the well that never shall run dry. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. There are millions in this world who are craving 
the pleasures earthly things afford, but none can match the wondrous treasure that I find in Jesus Christ my Lord. Fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up, Lord, come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up and make me whole. So my children, if the things this world give you, leave hungers that won't pass away. My blessed that Lord will come and save you if you kneel to him and have a prayer. Lord, I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thing of my soul. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole, make me whole. What does the church say? I'm home. Amen. What does the church say? Amen. 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 Eric, amen. Thank you so much for the beautiful singing today. Let's just take it. I know we all know Psalm 23. So now, Psalm 23. Anyone just to recite this one for us for Psalms 23. Any volunteer to or even to recite the whole chapter for me. We are on Psalms 23. Any volunteer to recite it for me? Any volunteer? Just one verse or the chapter, it's up to you. Remember the prayer time. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Amen. Thank you so much for that. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Together, let's go to Psalms 22 to take the background of the story. What made David to say, the Lord is my shepherd? What is it that had happened prior to this? What is it that happened to him to come to this conclusion? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. If you are with me, Go to Psalms. I am on Psalms 22. Psalms 22. I'm sure we are now all there. Are you all there, my good friends? Psalms 22. Yes, we are on Psalms 22. Psalms 23 is very common and is very popular. Where David says, the Lord is my shepherd. First, so, from Psalm 23, he starts a song. This psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. He sang the song so boldly, so strongly. But now, let's, get, let's just have a background. What is it that prompted him to come to this conclusion? If we are on Psalms 22, are we there? Is anyone on 22? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. If anyone is there, can you please read it out for me? I'm just finding it. Sorry. Okay. Do you want to all read? Do you want to all read then? Come again. 
Would you like it all to be read? For now, let's just consider this one. We're going to read the, we're going to pick some verses until we get to the last verse. Remember, we are just giving the background. What should make you, what can make me boldly say, the Lord is my shepherd. Let's have a good glimpse of the background of the story. We are on Psalms 22. May you read this verse is my one God, time. my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou Amen. so far from helping me and from the words of my roaring? Amen. So imagine, this is a cry David is making. My God, my God, why? Why have you forsaken me? And why art thou far from helping me? And from the words of my roaring. Imagine the cry of such a man. Remember, some few years ago, David fought with the Goliath. And actually, he won the battle. So he actually has victory. He knows how, the, how it is to taste the goodness of the Lord in the battle. From history, we are told around 1063 BC, David fought with Goliath. But now, it was now around 1044 BC. Some few years, and now he was in his 30s. In, at such a time, at such an age, what made David to cry aloud? My God, my God, why? Why has thou forsaken me? Why art thou far from helping me? And even from the words of my glory, imagine such a cry. Imagine such a cry. My God. My God, why, why have you forsaken? Many are circumstances that provoke our conscience. When we face such challenges in this world, we may even wonder and cry together with the David. My God, my God, why, why have you forsaken me? Listen. As if this is not enough, he goes on to say, Oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou carest not. And in the night season, and am not silent. This is an, a prayer of anguish. David is troubled. Things are not well with him. What is it that had happened which made such a giant faithful man cry such a cry? Follow closely. Now, verse 3. But thou art holy, O God. Oh, thou art inhabited the praises of Israel. Oh, Father, trust. Oh, our fathers, they trust in me. They trusted, and thou did deliver them. They cried unto thee, and were delivered. They trusted in me, and were not confounded. But I, am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despised of the people. Imagine David. Yes, God, I know you answered those of old. I have heard the of those of old, but it seems like you have them and not me. Seems like you delivered them and not me. David was crying for a personal experience with God. It's true. God would have done wonders for those of all. Remember all his fathers. We can talk all of the patriarchs. We can talk of all the prophets. We can talk of all even those that before him. But their experiences could not atone for his own experience. Now he cries out, My God, my God. Why? Why have you forsaken me? 
As if this is not enough, let's take a glimpse. Who made him to feel like a worm? Who made him to feel like a nobody? Who made him, who belittled him to this extent? He also even highlights, oh, they that see me, they laugh at me. They scorn at me. They shoot out their lips and they even shake their head. And here is what they say as they do this. He trusted in God, in the Lord his God. May the Lord whom he trusted deliver him. Let him deliver him. See, he delighted in him. Imagine your mockers saying all these words. May your God, why is it that your God seems so far away from you? We have heard about your son. You killed Goliath. You trusted in God. But where is your God now to help you? David is crying. My God, my God, why? Why have you forsaken me? Listen to verse 8. Here is the pinnacle of the matter. But thou, at ye that took me out. I am reading verse 9. But thou, at ye that took me out of the womb, thou did make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. Blessed are the woman, or are the women who breastfeed for a development of a godly character. Verse 10, he goes on to say, I was cast upon thee from the womb, but at my God, from my mother's belly. Listen to verse 11. Be not far from me, for I, for, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Listen to verse 12. Many bulls have composed me, Strong bulls of Bashan have beset me now. They gathered upon me with their mouth as a ravening and a rolling lion. I am pulled out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like what? It melted in the middle of my body. I'm trying to read. Maybe it will make sense to somebody. My beloved friend, we have got people in our midst who, when they say something, you wonder if it is coming from the mouth of people or if actually the devil himself speaking through them. Bulls of passion. These were known as ferocious beasts. They could hell at anything. They could be sarcastic of any circumstance. Anything that, they, that comes to their mind, they could just say it as they please. It was actually a good challenge. But here is the greatest challenge of them all. What is it that you need to know? What is it that I need to know? That can make you, that can make me enjoy the presence of the Lord. That at the end of the day, no matter what the bulls of Bashan would say, we can boldly call the name of the Lord and plead with him for his love. The book of Amos chapter 4 highlights that some, they are prepared to tear us apart with their words. With their words. How then can we stand up? That we can both listen to together with the day. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall go to once. <laughs> it may be your spouse. It may be your boss. It may be the nation itself. What is it that can make me think the Lord God has forsaken me? What is it that can challenge my mind to think that God no longer exists? What is it that happens in life? That can point you, that can point me that God does not exist. That we can cry together, my God, my God, why? Why have you forsaken me? 
I will just read a quote from the book Ministry of Healing. Uh, this is chapter 42. I will just read this two paragraphs. Men of Tamina are wanted. Men who will not wait to have their way smoothly and every obstacle removed. Men who will inspire with praise zeal. The blood effort of the spirit Men whose hearts are warm with Christian love and whose hands are strong to do their most to engage in the missionary service are weak and blinded. Spiritless, easily discarded. They lack peace. They have not those positive traits of character that give power to do something. The spirit and energy and that kindle of enthusiasm. Those who could win success must be courageous and must be hopeful. They should cultivate not only the positive, the passive, but also the active virtue. While they are to give a soft answer that turns away wrath, they must possess the courage of the hero to resist evil with the charity that endure all things. They need the force of character that will make their influence a positive power. I hope someone is learning from this. The last challenge that I'll just pose on us as a prayer point. Some have no firmness of character. Their plans and their purposes have no definite form and even consistency. They are of but little practical use in this form. This weakness, this indecision, this inefficiency should be overcome. There is in true Christian character an indomitable that cannot be moved or even subdued by adverse circumstances. We must have a moral backbone. We must have an integrity that cannot be flattered, that cannot be bribed, that cannot be terrified. Remember Christ on the cross. Matthew 27, verse 46. Matthew 27, verse 46. If Christ even on the cross could still get such bravery to buy you back from sin, to buy me back from sin, how much more can we stand up for such privileges? Remember, Matthew 27, verse 46. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, Lama Zabatkan, that is to say, my God, my God, why, why have you forsaken me? My beloved friend, it took the spotless Son of God Use of alone to bear your sin, to bear my sin. I'll come again on this one. My beloved friend, it took the Son of God, or the Son of God took it upon himself. The burden of your sin, the burden of, of my sin. He who had been one with God, felt in his soul 
the awful separation that sin makes between God and man. This rang from his lips. The anguish cry, my God, my God, why, why have you forsaken me? It was the burden of sin. It was the sense of its terrible enormity, of its separation of the soul from God. It was this that broke the heart of the Son of God. Remember steps to grant. Page 18. God is willing, my beloved friends, to take away your sin, to take away my sin. Christ is in the most holy place, interceding for you, interceding for me, being our mediator. The same experience which David had, literally David experienced it. Symbolically, it also pointed to Christ. And Christ on the cross, he felt it. And he cried the same cry, by God. My God, why have you forsaken me? May God be my help. May God be your help that we may stand up for the truth, that we may do that which is right. Anything that you think is too hard to bear, let's take it to the Lord in prayer. Christ is willing to bear your burden. Christ is willing to bear my burden. May God come and rescue each one of us out of his loving kindness. May God lead and allow us all to follow because of his loving kindness. God bless you. Amen. Amen. As David really thought that God had forsaken him, but he hadn't. And Jesus, um, well, was when he was on the cross, he shouts, um, "Oh God, my oh God, why has that forsaken me?" And um, yeah, it's a tough one that one is. Um, thank you for the message. Has anybody got anything to add, to say, any questions. thoughts or questions? Does anyone have anything to say? found a car park to find to continue sorry for that has anybody got any questions about the message we'd like to sound pastor marvelous for that message it was it was last minute dot com wasn't it because well, i think i sent the message last night because we, the speaker that was supposed to be wasn't able to do it so we we'd like to thank pastor marvelous for standing in for us and um, let's close this section in prayer. Would anybody like to start the closing prayer for this section, please?
Let us pray. Thank you. Kind and loving Father, the creator of heavens and earth, you are the Lord of lords, the King of kings. Lord, we give you thanks and we praise you this afternoon for the privilege that you have given us that we can come and listen to your word. Lord, we thank you for you are the God who listens to your children, who gives us all what we need. Lord, you are indeed our shepherd, the supplier of all our needs. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. And we ask this afternoon for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit as you have uh, sustained us for the whole year, dear Lord. We have listened to so many messages. Lord, may you, may your spirit help us to change the characters to represent you, dear Lord, in this in this world. Would like to thank, I uh, would like to pray for Pastor Marvelous, dear Lord, whom you have used this afternoon. May you bless him. May you um, enlarge his ministry, dear Lord. May you give him all what he needs in life, dear Lord. As we are living, dear Lord, we just pray that in these last days, we have to need much of you, dear Lord, and your Holy Spirit may help us to have faith in you and hold on to your words. Bless each and every person here and the families represented. In the name of Jesus, we pray and give thanks. Amen. Thank Amen. you for the prayer. Thank you for the prayer. I'm just going to share the screen. Scrolling down to find appropriate one. Yeah. Who would like to do praise and thanks? I'll do the praise. Thank you. Psalm 100. Thank you. Who would like to do confession of sin and the church? It's the confession of sin. I can do that one. That's John, First John 1 verse 9. Who would like to do pray for the Holy Spirit? I'll do that one. And who would like to pray for prayer retreat ministries? Anyone for prayer retreat ministries? Okay. You read right, the thank first one. Right, thank you. The uh, John. Uh, Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Okay, thank you. So we'll have a prayer that we write with God and then we'll um, uh, uh, continue from there with praise and thanks. A silent prayer that we write with God. Amen. 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 I'm going to read Psalms 100. Yeah. It's saying, Make a joyful shout to the Lord, O you lame. Save the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is the, he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and his sheep of this pastor, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting. 
and his truth endured to all generations. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. May only your will be done this midday prayer, Ben. Thank you, O oh Lord, for Psalm 23. Thank you for Psalm 22. Thank you for using Pastor Mother to explain to us why David was saying uh, this Psalm 22 and 23. May you bless and enlarge this territory. All of us who are here, O oh Lord, we put our tools down to come before you, O oh Lord. So I just want to thank you to praise you from January to December. What we were going through and what you bless us with, ah, you come to our rescue. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your nailed hands. Thank you, Jehovah, for your hand, your hand, which is powerful to open all our red sea. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit to teach us all the things and all the preachings from January to December. Oh, Lord, may you pilot us to this year 2024. Without your hand, we can't cross over. We want your hand, God, is the hand is so powerful. Thank you, Lord. May you read our hearts and meet our needs. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. First John 1 verse 9, if we confess our sins, if we, if, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Heavenly Father, we come to you today. We're all sinners and we need a Savior. We know that uh, we have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We know that Satan has led us into sin and we know that if, if we um, accept if we repent and turn from our wicked ways, that we will be saved. So we pray, Lord, that help us to do that. We know that um, yet we can see that the angels are slowly withdrawing the, the wings of um, mercy from the world. And we pray, Lord, uh, that, that, that you will help us to be found worthy of a place in your eternal kingdom. We know we have we've done many things wrong. We have thought things wrong and we have said things wrong. And we know that words said wrong can never be taken back. So we pray, Lord, that you'll be with us and keep us faithful in these last days. Help us to overcome sin. We know that 144,000 must overcome sin and, and live perfectly. So we pray, Lord, that you'll be with us and keep us faithful until you come. This is my prayer. We praise in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Acts 2, verse 1. Now there was a certain man. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost they began, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Oh Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessings. We thank you that you didn't leave us comfortless, that you sent us the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us in all truths. And we know that we need him when we witness because uh, things are brought to our mind to be able to share with others. And so we ask that you help us, that the Holy Spirit will be with us as we study your word and as we uh, witness to others. Uh, we thank you for the many blessings. We're sad that many do not accept the Holy Spirit. They reject him as a third person of the Godhead. But we know that he is a third person of the Godhead. And his job is very important in this earth, in these last days. And so we're thankful that you didn't leave us comfortless, but you sent us your Holy Spirit. Keep us faithful in these last days and give us victory over our sins, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Um, and the, the last text is Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Go ye therefore, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you and lo I am with you always even unto the end of the world. Amen. Uh, shall we continue in prayer? Heavenly Father, we continue to say thank you for all what you have done in our lives, dear Lord. Lord, you you expect us to be uh the disciples and to take the gospel throughout the world. 
Lord, thank you very much for this platform, uh, prayer ministry, still, Lord, where we come and learn, Lord, we pray for this platform. We pray for the leaders that are uh, that are, are making all things to keep on going on this platform, dear Lord. All the programs that runs on this platform, dear Lord, we commit them in, the, in your hands. We pray for the year that is coming, dear Lord, that may you give them strength. Oh, all the all the leaders, dear Lord, may you give them strength to carry on the good work. And may you be with each and every person who comes on this platform, dear Lord, to learn. And may we take the messages to our families and our our friends, dear Lord. As you um as we are living in these last days, dear Lord, we also pray that the Holy Spirit may help us, dear Lord, to have interest in um in your word dear lord and to uh to be in harmony with your will so lord we pray that you sustain this platform dear lord we pray for the finances that are needed to sustain it we pray for the speakers that comes every week and every day dear lord may you be with each and every person that comes to share the word may you help us to learn from you dear lord and may you help us to uh, to expand this knowledge to others may your name be glorified in the name of jesus we pray amen amen just going to start the recordings and then it's prayers for uh, the things that you want praying for <laughs> 